flower sisters and my wavy babes. If you are brand new, my name is Carrie Jessica. Sometimes I post on YouTube and then take super long breaks and I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I am growing out of pixie. If you have been around for a while, you have seen me with longish hair, like medium length hair. You've seen me with a bob. You've seen me with a wavy shag. You saw me go to a pixie and pompadour that mess straight up. And now I am growing out a pixie and I am long overdue for a style uh, visit with my stylist. So um, I just decided to give you a bit of a look of what I've been doing right now. I decided in April that I was ready to start growing out and this is where we're at now. I am in a different space. Um, let me get into doing my hair and I will tell you why I'm in a different space. So today I'm gonna be using my absolute favorite styler, water. <laughs> and I'm gonna be using some products from Design Me Hair. This is Fab Me. It is a leave-in conditioner. I absolutely love it. And my new favorite, favorite, favorite product. This is called Puff Me. It's it's a sea salt spray also from the brand Design Me. This brand is, um, I, I don't want to say they're inexpensive because that's a super relative thing, but for the quality of product, they are priced very well. If you check my description box, I do have a link to my Amazon store and I will make sure that both of these are in there. I will say that this also comes with a really cute carton of a refill so you can keep your same spray bottle and you have a plastic not plastic, you have a cardboard. Um, let me find it, I have it, hold on, it's somewhere. Okay, in all honesty, for me to find it, I have to move my dogs and they're like being very, very good. So let's get into hair. I've been going in every about six-ish weeks to get it trimmed up while I'm growing it out so that it doesn't get um, a little out of control. One of the best things you could do if you're growing out a pixie is stick with regular hair appointments so that you are reshaping it as it grows. Um, as it stands now, I am way overdue. So I have a little bit of like a um, Brady Bunch mom thing going on in the back. <laughs> which is okay because I have an appointment on Friday. So if you would like, let me know in, in the comments below and I will see if I can take my camera with me and show you what we're gonna do to create a different shape. But until then, this is what we're working with. So I am just getting my hair really wet because I like uh, styling with wet hair. Having wavy or curly hair, um, for a lot of people that hydration really makes a big difference when you're adding stylers, plus, I don't feel like I need as much product when my hair is damp because that water is already going to help activate some things um, like my wave pattern. So I find it super helpful. So the reason I'm in this space is my second oldest. So my oldest that lived at home just left for college which meant all of the kids got to move their rooms around. I moved into my youngest daughter's room and have kind of taken it over as like my office area. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Design Me Leave-In Conditioner and I'm just gonna spray this on my hand. I feel like I have a little bit more control over how much I'm using when I do that. And I don't need a whole lot, but I have been using a uh, shampoo that really dries my hair out. I will put a link thing to that video, but I have a lot of like dermatitis and psoriasis issues and my scalp has really been bothering me. Um, so I am back to using some of those products which are a little bit more drying. So that's why I am back to using some leave-in conditioner. Uh, but yeah, I'm really loving being in this space, but it's kind of funny because it's a room that my dogs didn't go into. Um, so now that I'm in here, they're like, wait, am I allowed to cross this door? <laughs> now that I have worked that through my hair in all different directions. Now I am, <laughs> I'm a high risk person and we are in the era of COVID. So I've really not been going out much, which is why I haven't been on here much because I haven't been doing my hair at all. But I figured if I'm doing, if I'm not doing my hair and I'm liking how it looks, then I should come on here and show you what I'm doing. <laughs> so this is the sea salt spray. This has been what I've been doing for a very effortless look to my hair and I have been absolutely loving it. It's difficult for me to stick to a product for very long because I have access to so many products that I like to switch it up and play around. But I've been using this consistently in fact, it's almost gone and I rarely finish a product. Normally I use about half of a product and then it goes to one of my kids and then I move on to something else to play with. But this is something that not only have I almost used all of it, but I will be refilling it. I absolutely love it. Okay, I am just going to generously spray this around and it does have a continuous sprayer. So it's kind of easy to just kind of move around with it. 
now that I have that in my hair, I'm just going to kind of scrunch this around. And I really don't have any excess like water in my hair. If I do, I'll take a tea towel or a hair towel or a paper towel even, and just kind of go like this and get out some of the excess water. But I'm not really dealing with that today, so I'm not going to add extra steps if I don't need them. And I am going to go in all directions, even though I have been going with a deep part because that's how my uh, that's how my pixie was cut. So it's how my hair is laying. So even though I'm going with a part uh, on the side, I'm still kind of scrunching in different directions because I do like volume. That is something that I have always been a fan of no matter what hairstyle I have going at the time. And here I'll let you see what the back looks like. And while I'm doing this, I'm also making sure that none of my waves kind of get like plastered to my scalp. Um, I know you know what I mean by that when it just kind of sticks. So I want to make sure that there's some like lift and separation going. I am going to spray a little bit more in this front area where it's a little bit longer just because the shampoo again that I'm using is so drying that that part has been a little bit more difficult to get it to cooperate. and a little bit more scrunching. The reason why I scrunch products into my wavy hair is it really helps, number one, kind of activate that wave, and it also makes sure that the product kind of leans in to support the wave instead of it kind of being pulled straighter. I am gonna go in with my Dyson diffuser. This is a very expensive product and it is not necessary. However, if your hair takes a very long time to dry, it can be super useful. This cuts my drying time, I would say almost in half, which for me personally justifies the expense of it, kind of. I love it, so I'm keeping it. If you have a different dryer, it's absolutely fine, um, but go ahead and put your diffuser on. And I'm gonna diffuse my hair on low heat and low speed because I'm not really looking to blow it all around. I'm just looking to dry it. And I'm going to start off hover diffusing, which is when I hold it away um, and not touching my hair just to kind of initiate some of that getting it dry. I'm also going to grab my glasses and a book because I like to read when I diffuse my hair. <laughs> All right, I have my glasses and my trusty Kindle. Drop what you're reading in the comments. I am always looking for book recommendations. I love the like young adult sci-fi fantasy type books. I feel like they're a great escapism, but I read all kinds of books. Um, so yeah, drop, drop it in the comments what you're reading. I would uh, love to know. Okay. Okay, now that it is a little bit more dry, I am gonna turn the heat off of it because I am going to scoop my hair up in it, uh, a more traditional style of diffusing that people are familiar with. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is called pixie diffusing. And that's gonna be where I have it turned off and then I cup my hair and then turn it on. It kind of helps uh, not have it quite as like fly away blown as you're like moving the diffuser around. Um, although if I get uh, more engrossed in my book, I will forget to do that and just keep it turned on. <laughs> So because the top is a little bit longer and my hair is a little thicker there, I'm going to go upside down to finish diffusing. It just kind of lets the air get to like the root of my hair a little bit easier.
Okay, so my hair is dry, although it is a little bit um, crunchy. It has a bit of a cast from that sea salt spray, and I'm gonna go in and scrunch and fluff that out. I am someone who um, kind of embraces the frizz. I like my hair to be a little tousled and messy, which is super convenient when you have wavy hair because that tends to be how your hair looks anyway. Before I do that, let me give you a 360 so you could see what it looks like from all the way around. Um, and I say a 360, but I'm in like a weird chair, so I can't spin all the way around. I'll do my best. <laughs> So that is where we're at. So now let's go mess it up a little bit. So this room, I don't know if I really kind of finished my thought on that. This room is actually going to be painted soon, but I'm having such a hard time choosing paint colors because we're going to repaint the entire inside of the house. Uh, so I seem to not be making any progress <laughs> towards actually getting it painted, but someday, someday this room will be painted. Um, and I look forward to it if I could just find someone I trust to do it um, for a price that I think is reasonable and choose an actual color. Um, yeah, these things are not, making decisions is not my strong suit these days. <laughs> so I'm just kind of going through and messing up a little bit of the uh, parts of it that are kind of waved together from the sea salt spray and fluff, fluff, fluff. All right, guys, that is it. That's how I've been doing my hair these days. So I'm so excited to go in on Friday. Again, drop a comment if you would be interested in me taking you along to the hair salon with me. Um, I already kind of know what I'm gonna do. I always lean into my stylist to make the final decision because she understands hair in a way that I don't. I know my hair, she knows hair in general. So I have an idea of what I'm gonna do, but I always leave it up to her to know what is going to kind of work to give me the closest um, option for my hair texture, uh, density, look, and all of that for what I am wanting, but I'm super excited to get in there. I cannot wait. Let me give you another 360 now that I've kind of fluffed my hair around. And I very, very much miss my pompadour. I miss it so, so much. But I'm also excited to be growing it out and doing something different with my hair again. I don't like to keep my hair the same for very long. So it's time. Um, on that note, I am going to wrap this up. I am so happy to be back with you guys. I have missed you and I am looking forward to connecting. If you have not already, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. I do create content that is just me hanging out in my room, styling my hair, and also endorsing and sponsoring and helping you through this gray hair journey because it is a wild ride. All right, guys, I will see you in a couple of days because believe it or not, I'm gonna start on my channel again. <laughs> Bye, you guys.